we're going to classify real numbers in a little bit. And the only way I'm, we're really going to focus, as far as right now, is just breaking them down, real, uh, real numbers, into rational and irrational. All right? And the basic idea that I want you guys to think about this is rational numbers are numbers we can represent as a fraction, and not just a fraction of over 1. Irrational numbers we cannot represent as a fraction. So can I represent negative 10 as a fraction? Sure. What about negative 20 over 2? Right? What about the square root of 9? Yeah, the square root of 9 is what? 3. And you can represent 3 as a fraction, right? 12 divided by 4, or 12 over 4. So all of these are examples of rational numbers. Anything as long as you can represent it as a fraction. However, pi, we know is that irrational number that goes on and on and on, and they still can't figure out any pattern with it. You can write pi over 1, but you can't really write it as a fraction, though, right? You can't say a number divided by another number equals the exact same value of pi. There are some fractions that are approximates of pi that we use, but there's no exact fraction that represents pi. Does everybody agree? So that's why that's irrational. Same thing, square root of 37. We cannot. You can't evaluate. We know the square root of 36 is 6, is 6. But square root of 37 is not an integer. And therefore, it's going to go on and on and on and on and on forever. And therefore, it is irrational. OK? Make sense? So just look at, guys, if you can write your number as a fraction or not. If you can, it's rational. If not, irrational.